it. And there are already moves apparently, which yeah, we are we are somewhat behind, slightly but... delayed, but not that much. Miracles of modern technology. They make a move in Stavanger, and seconds later, or actually instantly on the screen, it arrives in Hamburg. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what this opening is from uh, a few moves I could see. Since something I think has taken on c5, it might be some kind of Queen's Gambit declined, but it's difficult, uh, difficult to be sure precisely. People are asking for TV show recommendations. Uh -huh. I think it's a bit too early in, in the broadcast for that. Yeah, because we still haven't given up hope that we might get a move here. Yeah. If we don't, we can talk all the TV shows you want. I don't have that many to recommend currently. And my eyes aren't good enough anymore to tell what's going on here. Can I go? Yeah, I think this is Queen's Gambit declined. I can't see a thing. What's going on? Give me moves. Yeah, why not moves? I don't know, man. That's not good. Westworld is a great series. Uh, I disagree. It's all right, but it's not real. <clears throat> Still, can I at least... What can I do? We could potentially try and make the video window larger, but I have that a plan, yeah. Uh, probably not a good plan, but a plan nevertheless. Mm. Will this help our old worn down eyes to recognize what's going on? Not well, a lot, I, right? I, I stand by my assertion that this is Queen's Gambit decline, but yeah, it doesn't help. Uh, it doesn't help a ton. Looks like this is this line Levon used to play with Bishop f4, castles e3, knight bd7, bishop e2, takes on c4, whatever, castles c5, and queens come off, and you play some endgame where. White is maybe a teeny tiny bit better on paper, but not by much. Also, if there's any tech-savvy people watching, I have the right PGN, I would think, because I see the games, but I have no moves. Can I get any of those? Ah, just as, you just gotta ask for stuff. That's my ma what my mom always told me. Jan, you have to ask for things in life, or people won't give them to you. How's that working out for you? Mm, I don't know, I haven't <laughs> asked anything yet. But I'm planning with maturity. Mm -hmm. Hang on, what have I done now? I should ask somebody to fix the design for me. Eh? Ooh, so small all of a sudden. They deserve to be a little bigger, I would say. Anyway, this is the game. <laughs> Apologies for whatever, but we got it right, more or less. Less more than more, because it was this line, and here bishop d3. The move Levon has played before struck me as very odd the first time I saw it. Cause yeah, it's an it's a non-obvious choice. Allowing this, I would thought equalizes, but he seems to think differently. Mm. Well, it is it is uh, the the position where one side has more bishops than the other, but yeah, structurally black is very very solid, and Vichy also is. Uh, playing quite fast and quite confidently. For instance, I think Bishop before, judging by, by what we've seen on the live stream, I mean the video, Bishop before was played extremely fast, so Bishop is... No, this is theory. I I'm not sure if these guys had a game against each other in this line, but Levon certainly had the position after Bishop B4. So Bishop is booked up. Mm. Doesn't seem like uh, very much here. And yeah, the structure got somewhat uh, gentrified, but it should still be... Uh, perfectly fine for black. For instance, I suspect you can play knight a6 even here. Allow rook d7 and then play f6 and uh, rook d8. Something broke during all my wild clicking earlier. But I will, I will get it fixed. Because they call me... Mm. Wise man with the design skills of... A five-year-old that has never designed anything. 
Yeah, and uh, Vishy went with the immediate f6. I, yeah. I liked m my suggestion better, frankly, but this is also fine. Just king f7. Nothing wrong with that either. Looks very equal, doesn't it? Yeah. You need to pay attention to f5 in some positions, maybe, but uh, I don't really see what it does after king f7. And if black is given a tempo to completely uh, completely stabilize by playing something like rook c7, he will be just perfectly fine. Bishop goes with an even more conservative option, knight f8, which I'm not... Ah, king f7, knight e5 check, I guess, was what was bothering him. But now is Levan getting somewhere? Knight a4? Yeah, I... Ooh! Take? Check and then rook b8, I guess. Check but even, rook but two, even there, oh. Oh, he, he goes rook b8 straight that's away. That's his point. Mm. I think that's maybe uh, smarter. I'm quite sure that's smarter. Yeah, objectively, this has to be fine for black because he will have uh, enough pressure against the b3 pawn to never have to worry about his slight weaknesses on a5 and d6. And for all you Magnus fans out there, here's a little update because the Vichy game ended in a draw. I don't think the Magnus game will end in a draw as well. Did the Vichy game end in a draw? Yep, handshake. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, Magnus is totally winning against Tanish here, and uh, he generally doesn't, uh, uh, you know, screw up positions like this very often. I promised you full highlights. So first highlight, Magnus seems to have decided that one knight c3 is the way to go in this tournament. Tanish goes c5. I thought this was the one line where knight c3 made some sense because you go d4. But apparently he's happy transposing some Sicilian. Yeah, and uh, also a very Magnus-like approach here because uh, people generally uh, connect this uh, this line with the idea of playing e5 as early as possible. And Magnus just played a chess game without really trying for anything spectacular out of the opening. And then I suspect Danish missed something. Here. Because, yeah, you don't really want to play bc6. I'm, something needs to happen for you to have to play bc6. Mm -hmm. I'm Something not sure what that is. Wrong. Like, why why can't you take with the queen? I don't know. This is moving too fast for me. Yeah, we. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know why why it's doing that. But and he also obviously missed, missed this 95 shot. But his position was already very unpleasant. Mm -hmm. And and the game is by now over because uh, not only is white an exchange up, he's also giving mate pretty much because the, the pawn on f7 will fall. Yeah, Anish resigned here at 95. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, something something has gone badly wrong for Anish in that game, sort of straight out of the opening. He had what seemed like a perfectly reasonable position, and then he just got very swiftly outplayed by... So let's go to this point again. Queen yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure why this hasn't been... Before, before you can I take, take everything and go in C2. Yeah. 95, rookie 6, knight G5 maybe, and then F4. Yeah, that could be an issue. Yeah, I can I can see why why that would be that would be an issue for Black. It's tarped and ninety five rook d seven. Mm. Not oh, saying it's great. But I guess I guess he just disliked this position and thought yeah, bxc six gave him a better shot because at least he got he got through to the e four pawn. But that's that structure and that knight on a five will uh, be a problem. And, uh, and then he clearly blundered this bishop. H6, yeah, I guess you play check. you play knight c4 and you hope, but yeah, here there's no hope left. Knight, knight of six check next move. And uh, Sergei Karakin seems to be completely winning against Hikaru. Uh, I thought Hikaru at some point created very serious technical issues for for Sergei, but uh, someone wrote Naka blunder. I'm not sure when, but probably something went wrong. Yeah, something clearly went wrong because this is just a completely lost position now. Resignable. <clears throat> Can we have a brief look at the position around move 36? Around move 36? Yeah, because this is when we started watching. Yeah, I thought black could take on uh, d4 and go bishop d3 here. But I guess the knight on h3 gets caught. I guess it's very similar to what happened in the game. You do win the exchange, but then the knight gets trapped. Like rook f1 takes takes and you can't save. You can't save the knight on h3. That yeah, must be the explanation for why Hikaru didn't do this. Yeah, and uh, as for for the rest of that game, it's very difficult to judge what happened. It was happening too quickly for us to correctly correctly grasp. Yeah, and here, yeah, he had to go for something similar because, yeah, he's uh, two pawns down and, and the knight on h3 is completely stuck. He's lost. Yeah, not a nice position to find yourself in. Speaking of lost, Maxim Vashila Graf beat Wesley so. Mm. In a, in a very quirky French where he played three bishop d3, rook h7, I guess. That's very cute, yeah. 
and queen g6 mate. Yeah, Maxim played three bishop d3 against the French, which is not a line that is supposed to give white anything at all, but he was soon much, much better. Nicely done by Maxim. Let's see where that leaves us. And there's one, one more game we haven't mentioned yet. Uh, Vladimir Kravnik continues uh, struggling, losing with white to Fabiano. Uh, with white? No. Yeah, with white. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, standings first. Hang on then. a second. He also I played mean. three bishop d3 against the French. Are they, are they working with MVL? And are they showing their secret analysis in the blitz? Yeah, those are the, the question that will not let us sleep at night. Mm. But his bishop f3, bishop d3 French did not go. I believe there's a video series on Chess24 by Pepe Cuenca advocating this, which I greatly mocked him for because it looked ridiculous. You allow this, knight f6, now you want to put the bishop here and claim you better? Yeah, the game, but both games continued, c5, knight e2, knight, knight c6, bishop e3. And here, Wesley for some reason took on d4, and uh, Fabi instead played knight d5, which I think is uh, uh, generally a lot more logical. But if the memory game, serves, there's also weird moves like this. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure there are. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it got very, very sharp very fast, because after knight d5, Vladi played bishop d5 and knight bc3, giving up his entire king side for, uh, for initiative. That's not his style, is it? Not generally, but he, he, you know, he is a good enough player to do whatever he likes. Obviously. To, to a very great standard. So. Yeah, looked very interesting for White for a second because uh, soon the king will have to go to d8 and yeah, it became, it became very sharp. But maybe black was fine all along. It's hard to judge. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> it is.